Hi and hello everyone. This is another video on a topic uh, that is analytics and in this video we would be focusing on machine learning and within machine learning we would be focusing on decision tree algorithm and uh, the programming language uh, or the tool that we would be using to, to implement this decision tree algorithm would be Python. So let's begin. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence. You know that artificial intelligence is, is gaining momentum and it's uh, almost increasing. Uh, the technology is moving uh, uh, exponentially with every day or with every second or minute past. How machine learning started, uh, it was a deep blue software that was initially designed uh, to play chess game. The software become so powerful that it even beat the champion of the chess game that nobody else could have uh, could beat and this is how the evolution of machine learning began now how it works we are in, in this video we are taking taking a very simple example that is a decision tree because decision tree is generally very easy to understand and interpret how it does is it identifies the features just like when when we see anything we see we can easily think of it as an apple or an orange or a cupboard or anything that we see eh? and how we do this we do this by recognizing its features initially if we think of a kid he cannot say that this is an apple this is an orange but we tell them that this is an orange and what what saves in his mind is the features for example the color is orange the texture is bumpy the weight so the same thing we teach us to machine and machine saves this data and based on this data it is able to predict whether the particular object uh, for for example in this case we are taking an example of apple and orange is uh, what are the features for apple what are the features for orange and how they are differing so when when machine has all the data set and it is trained to actually identify uh, the apple and orange based on their features it and we present some data of apple and orange it it is able to predict and in, uh, and the prediction is almost 90% or maybe in in, in 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 a lot of cases it is 100% correct this is how it does but uh, the, the most important thing is when when the machine is trained it it does this so quickly within microseconds like when I think of it and, and I think that this is an apple and orange I can I can make a uh, guess very quickly but machine learning can can do this very very fast and when the scenario gets gets complex it can do this automatically and in an extremely fast way now there can be a number of classifiers, artificial neural network, support vector machine, linear classifier, logistic regression, naive bias classifier, random forest, boosted tree. I've told you that the decision tree, since since this is like for, we are starting from beginning, the decision tree is very easy to understand and interpret. Besides, there are so many other possible advantages, there are advantages for decision tree, but the most important thing is it is very easy to understand and interpret. I'll show you at the end of the video that uh, you will yourself uh, uh, see that it's it's very easy. How it works? We just had a glimpse of it. What machine does? It takes some input and then assigns to it an output. For example, the input could be weight, the input could be the texture, the input could be the color, and based on these three, it identifies, it assigns a value that whether it's an orange or an apple. For example, uh, I'm talking about orange and apple because in this scenario, we have taken this example of orange and apple. In our example, we've taken only two features and a label. The label is the predicted value. This is the dependent value on features. We've taken only two features and the two features are weight and texture. And the labels identify whether it is uh, an apple or an orange. How we do this? If there is an apple, we take zero, and if there is an orange, we take one. Uh, a diagram showing how the machine learning algorithm works. Supervised learning. In supervised learning, 
we train we train the model we tell them that there are some features and on based on these features this is the outcome once the model is trained we tell them uh, we ask them whether again we we provide them with features and ask them to predict the label for those features and this is called supervised learning in unsupervised learning we do not provide data for training it is the machine that does it uh, itself so here you can see that we collect the training data we train the classifier we train the machine and here it is called a classifier object and based on the, that training the machine makes prediction this is the training data very simple training data weight texture and the label label weight is 150 gram 170 gram 140 gram 130 gram texture is bumpy or smooth and label are labels are orange and apple uh, we are using python and uh, in python there is a library called scikit-learn and we are using that in scikit-learn library there is an object classifier object that is called fit it takes in the data and does the predicting after learning so how the program works we will be providing them features they will be trained on those features and after training we will be like uh, providing them with the data set and we'll be asking them to predict the values now after we have trained the data set we've trained the algorithm we give the weight is 150 and and zero represents a bumpy so we provide the zero data set so these are the two features and it's a bumpy texture the weight is 150 gram we initially in our data bumpy is for orange so it should have come orange and this is what we think and let's see what predicts this is our program we're importing the scikit li uh, learn library this this is the data set that we provide to train our um, algorithm and these are the features now when we ask about predicting the values you see there tlf dot predict 150 comma zero these are the features that we provided and we ask them to predict and it results into one so the the model predicted really correct correctly and again how it is working i'll show you in the form of diagram this is the diagram when the weight is 150 gram 50 gram but if we take it as the 150 gram it could be an orange or it could be an apple but when the texture is bumpy it is definitely going to be an orange and if it is not it is an apple so this is how the is working if we take a more complex example for example an iris data set that has uh, three different types of flowers setosa versicolor and, and virginicia now there could be multiple features that we need to consider and on those features uh, our product uh, our model would predict uh, setosa versicolor virginicia so by using this we can also create uh, after like training uh, providing the training data set to the algorithm we can also create a decision tree like this that how it comes to the decision of identifying the flower the brown is uh, representing setosa the green is representing versicolor and, and uh, uh, the purple is uh, representing virginicia so on these feature sets again start by checking the features and identifying whether based on this feature which flower it could be so initially it identified the tosa and moving down taking the conditions of true or false it is identifying versicolor and tosa the diagram here is very simple and very powerful now it is representing colors the mixture of the two colors is representing whether it could it, it could be both versicolor or virginicia but later on based on other features it identifies exactly whether it's a particular or virgination it could go from very simple real life situation to to a very complex situation and decision tree is simple easy to interpret and powerful i hope now you have a better understanding of how machine learning works and within machine learning how decision tree works so hope you enjoy it if there are any queries you can message me Thank you.